The Creed moves from God the Father to the second article. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. In the introduction of Jesus, the Son, we're reminded that at the heart of the Christian understanding of God is the idea of Trinity. That we confess one God in three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Creed reminds us of the mystery that is Jesus. He is God. His conception is through the power of the Holy Spirit. Like in days of old when women like Sarah, Rachel, Hannah were found to be barren, longing for and unable to have children, God acted and created life. In the Creed, we confess that God continues to act and brings forth the child Jesus, bearing all the powers and authority of God. And in him and his incarnation, becoming human, God reveals God's self to us more fully. We get our best glimpse of what God is like in Jesus. And Jesus, as well as being God, is at the same time human. Born of an earthly human mother, Mary. Reminding us of God's love and proximity to us, God became one of us. But the creed does not let us forget that while God is one of us in Jesus, Jesus is still God. He is the one who spoke all things into being. On him the Father has placed all authority and power over creation, and as a result, we confess in the creed that he is Dominum, our Lord. Jesus is King. And not just over us, but over the world. In Jesus, God is again claiming God's rule over the world that God made. And Caesar and all earthly authorities back then and now. And as followers of Jesus, as those baptized into his name, our true allegiance and devotion rests not with the powers and authorities that are, but with the kingdom that will be in him. The early Christians of the Roman Empire understood this, that the powers of this world demand our allegiance in all things. But God comes to us in Jesus and demands this too, and calls us out from what is to live into what will be in him. They confess this in the creed, and we confess this in the creed. God became one of us to bring us back to God, which is why the creed moves, as we will discuss next, to Jesus' suffering. When we confess he died, was buried, and descended to the dead.